My name is Fred Word. And I'm Miss Hannah, and we are so glad that you're watching. Here at Beach Camp, we are learning from God's true word, the Bible. We'll be looking at stories that teach us how God cares for us, God protects us, and God rescues us. Can you all say CPR? Wow, that was so good. You know, friends, I have this special beach bag here with some fun things inside, but I need your help. When I say stories by the sea, can you all say splish splash and pretend your hands are in a puddle? Let's try it. Stories by the sea, splish splash. splash. Stories by the sea. Splish splash. splash. Stories by the sea. Splish splash. Great job, everyone. Let's see what's inside. It looks like I have this Bible, a storm cloud, and a boat. Wait a second. We had a boat for our last story. But look, there's a storm cloud, too. Hmm. I wonder what this story will be. Oh, 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 let's open up our Bible and see what it is. Great idea, Fredward. Jesus had been teaching lots of people on the shore of the Sea of Galilee. He and the disciples needed to go to the other side of the sea, but Jesus wanted to pray. He told his disciples to go ahead and take the boat across the lake. Jesus climbed up a mountain to pray. When Jesus was done praying, the boat was already far away from shore. The disciples were in the boat with the wind blowing and the waves crashing. When Peter looked out on the water, he saw someone. It was Jesus. He was walking on water. The disciples thought he was a ghost. They were so scared. Friends, can you show me your scared faces? Jesus told Peter to come out onto the water with him. Peter stepped out of the boat. He was walking on the water too. But then Peter looked around at the big waves and heard the scary wind. He was afraid that Jesus wouldn't help him. So Peter began to sink. Oh no! Before Peter sank all the way underwater, Jesus grabbed him and pulled him into the boat. Jesus rescued Peter. Yay, Jesus! When they were back in the boat, Jesus reminded his friends that he is really God's son. We can trust that Jesus will rescue us. And that's the whole reason he came to earth. Jesus came to rescue us from sin, just like he rescued Peter from the water. I'm so glad that Jesus rescues us. Let's do our special poem and pray to say thank you. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Them, lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Dear God, thank you so much for always being there to rescue us, just like you rescued Peter. I pray that all my friends would trust in you for the rest of their lives. Amen. Friends, God really rescues us. I know sometimes I get scared, but this story helps us to know that we can trust God. He loves us so, so much. Jesus is the only one that can fill our thirsty hearts. That reminds me of our memory verse. Stand up and try it with me. If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. John 7, 37. Wow, great job. Jesus is the only one who can fill our hearts full. This makes me want to sing and dance. I know a really fun song about following Jesus. Can you march your feet like this? Great job. Can you point your arms forward like this? Wow. Great job. Let's try one more dance move. Can you do question arms? Awesome. Let's try it with our music.